taking on Martina Benile, the former European champion. Again, we see Maisie Rose Courtney at the centre of the ring. Naturally aggressive, and we like what we've seen, Barry. No, yeah, she's been really impressive. You know, she, you know she's trying to showboat when she's you know, trying to sell herself a little bit when she when she's been able to, and you, know, you see there switching. So she's always a puzzle to solve. But ultimately, it's a work that that you know that tells the story. She's those quality combinations. She can be busy. She can be aggressive, and I expect it to be that tonight. So it's a bit of everything, Courtney. Naturally, like I say, really aggressive, likes to be on the front foot, but she can box, decent pedigree, and someone you know really well, Sky. Yeah, I think we got to see a bit more of Maisie in her last fight. Um, we saw a lot of aggression and a lot of punches uh, in her earlier fights, and uh, we got to see her relax and, and settle into it and have fun and, and box a bit more in her last fight, which I think was really good for her. Um, you said before this uh, opponent was uh, well beaten in her last fight, but it was against a very, very good Shannon Ryan, so I feel like this is a really good test for Maisie to see where she's at. There's pressure on Maisie Rose going into this because of the way Shannon Ryan dealt with Benile? I think yes, but I think it's also a really good opportunity for Maisie to maybe make a bit of a statement as well. Um, obviously, there is always talk about the two of them potentially meeting in the future, so um, to, to share an opponent so close, um, like one after the other, it, 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 it's a good opportunity for Maisie here. Good action there. Both fighters in the hands go, Courtney. On the front foot, Benile trading though, on the back foot. Then her own hooks go. You see the spike and the aggression again from Courtney there, Barry. Yeah, it's just tipped the legs there. This one, part of the shot. That's where she got the weight in there. little short right hand there as well there from Courtney on the, just on the spin. She's got to be careful. She don't switch too often. That's all. She can not confuse herself, but just lack a bit of, bit of momentum doing that. But apart from that, it's a really good positive first round there from, from Courtney. Yep, good lively opening round. Literally picking, picking that right hand with perfection there, Courtney. Again, working behind the jab and so she just dipped the legs there through that right hand in the body, followed back with a beautiful left hook there to the ribs as well, and back on the toes using that jab. That was a really good, aggressive, positive, and thoughtful first round there from her. Round two. So into the second round we go. Good positive start from both fighters in that opening round. Both meeting in the centre of the ring again. So Benile, she does have a slight edge in experience as far as fights are concerned. Coming into a ninth contest this evening. It's that championship level, if you like, that she'll be hoping can be the difference. Like I say, former European champion, she's boxed 10 rounds three times. This is Maisie's first round or so. There's a little bit of experience in the Benile corner. But again, we're seeing the good footwork from Maisie Rose Courtney moving nice. Lead right uppercut. And being able to punch on the move as well, which is quite difficult. She's not just moving her feet, then planting them to throw the shot. She's as she's, as she's moving away, she's sneaking a shot in before she gets gets on a bike, if you will. And then creates a bit more space, and then goes again. And again, that's good. The, the, as Sky said in our, in, the, in our last contest, she relaxed a little bit more. We started to see a bit more flow in her work, and I think that's continued in, in this in this fight. You've done a fair bit of spot. That was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, that was really, really nice. Good work. Almost switching. Like you said, Barry, she does have to be careful when she switches. Sometimes doing it in close quarters as she's letting hands go and we've said this time and time again when you do switch you do come square on but more than that you, know, you, you throw you throw a combination from one stance and it works and then you switch you, know, you want to just do, you want to do that do that same process again sometimes you can overcomplicate it for yourself at times trying to confuse your opponent will end up just again just just start, start for that, that that momentum is something at work you spent a fair few rounds with Courtney Sparr and Sky. What are our strengths? Yeah, um, yeah, we've sparred quite a lot actually. Um, 
she is she can be very aggressive and I think she's very strong for, for her size. Good size for her weight. That was a good round. That was a good round for Courtney. Finishes the round with a lovely lead right hook. Spins off the ropes. Was it in start? Some deep breaths from the former European flyweight champion. Let's have a look at these highlights of that second round. That was a lovely left hook because she threw that right hand there. Just, just got a little bit of a twist of the core and then came back then with a real, real snappy left hook there from Courtney. It was a good round again. You know, it was, it was thoughtful. She moved her feet, just created a bit of distance, and then when she attacked, she committed to those attacks, believed in the punches, and, and you seen the weight in the shot. And that left hook was, was the best punch of the lot. See Courtney opts him to stand in the corner. I've always wondered that, you know, even when you're sparring, you never sit down, do you? And I wonder why, why do we always, what are all boxers? I mean, this is, can you, can Darren, you answer this question Darren, for me? this is my argument with my coach. So I actually stood for my whole last fight, my 10 rounder um, in Mexico a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and I loved it. Uh, it's definitely not been something my coach has been keen for me to do, uh, but I usually get my way, and I did this last fight, and I loved it, honestly. Um, and and that's my argument. We don't we don't sit down in the in the corner when we're sparring. Um, so why do we do it in the fight? About you, Bella. I should sit wrong. I should sit down in between the, in, in the rounds and stand in between the rounds. That's why I didn't really go very far. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I do understand. I do understand this good work here. Let's forget about that. This is good work here from Courtney. Just starting to close the gap there with that front foot. Now, a bit of cash here, I'm gonna. Is that what that was? That was thinking out loud. Back to the fight. <laughs> yeah, good stuff again from Courtney. I like the way she moves, gets back to the centre ring, always allowing space behind her. Got caught there though. Just went to throw that hook from too far out and got caught with, with a straight right hand there. But near that, you can see she's starting to switch a little as well. Step back, step back. 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 Forehead. Maybe the a little side of the, the left side of the forehead. It might be in the cup. Was it the last round? The end of the last right. round, I think there was. And I'm not sure if that's a, a mark from there. That's I think she's uppercut. seen it, Benilla. It looks spared her on, but she's got a head low and she's walked onto a couple of uppercuts there from Courtney. Got to keep that guard tight, Benilla. Can't get clumsy, can't get carried away. <laughs> Really good round there, Benile. You know, trying to be more aggressive and come forward, and that, that just that just helped Courtney then produce even better work in this round. Just getting those combinations together and planting her feet with a bit more purchase in the punches, and that was a again another good round for her. To be honest, she's finishing the combinations with the hooks, and she's having a lot of success, isn't she? I think the referee just going over to either corner and just to see that that swelling and that little bit of a cut there on the forehead was actually a clash of heads, just making that a. Uh, Official. And into the fourth round we go. It's been a good performance so far from Courtney. We've seen a bit of everything. She's in there with a former champion, yes. 37, perhaps her best days behind her, but still she's dangerous. She's very proud and wants to turn her career around so she can see she's trying she's coming forward. Nice right hand from Benile. Done the right thing there, Courtney. Grabs hold of Benile, span her into the neutral corner, looking for those uppercuts and hooks. Just dipping the legs and rolling there, and the way she's doing that, she's coming back with a shot, using the uppercut through the middle there, Courtney. And that's well, what's getting success in that little combination. But I, I think she, I think she, we have a box here, we can get stoppages. I think she just a bit, she does a little bit too much, trying to show you everything she can do. 
I think she concentrates on working on a solid jab and, and pushing her opponents back. I think with the way she throws her punches and the purse she can get in some of those shots, she will get the stoppages. She always looks very confident. Courtney. See a bit of everything, didn't we? A bit of head movement. Lots of footwork. Sorry, look at that. Did you see her? She throws a jab, and then rather than take a step back, before she did take the step back, she just dipped to the side and threw another shot. She don't need to move her feet too far away. Lovely shot. Nice right hand. Sits in the pocket. Looks for the uppercut to hook to head and body. Sorry. Shaking her head. But Nina, she's trying, you can see it's good momentum on the front foot, but she's lacking in the, the hand speed department and falling short over that front foot. She's got to be careful. She can walk onto an uppercut, but she does walk onto a nice one two from Courtney. Let her go, work away, work away. Good round, Sky. Yeah, really strong round. You can see she's turning the screw now. She's going through the gears. Yeah, it was another, another lovely right hook. As she was back onto the road, positive stuff from Courtney. She looks as if she's enjoying herself in there. Shannon Ryan up next. She looked very, very good, didn't she, against Benile? Yeah, I've been sparring Shannon a lot, actually. She was uh, perfect sparring for me for my last fight, so... We, this is her opponent. Yeah, well, she's Your fighting net. a southpaw, so it was yeah. actually perfect. It um, is, exactly that. Perfect for each other for the last eight weeks or so. Zena Jernak on the pads. There is Maisie Rose and her opponent, Benile. Benile's actually got a real big welt in, or just over the right eye. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if that's from the, the original class of heads a couple of rounds ago, but it's really, really come up. And she sat down in the corner. We move into the fifth round. This very good performance from Maisie Rose Courtney so far. Starts this round on the back foot, moving, poking out the jab, looking for the screw shot with that lead hand, switching very subtle the way she switches to Southpaw. But Benin has got a rush out. Like that. They move the feet with the hands. The feet are not as quick as her hands, unfortunately, so she can have the hands go, but she can't close the gap. She's definitely improved. I mean, she started her career really, really well, Courtney. But there was that eagerness to really impress and bite down on the gun shield and let big shots go. But you're seeing now in her fifth contest, boxing nice on the back foot, using her opponent's momentum to, to land the shots. And it's all starting to come, come together nicely. Yeah, I think the relaxed and composed Maisie is the best Maisie we can see. So when she's uh, when she's settled down and relaxed like this, it's you can see some really lovely boxing. And ironically, when she's relaxed, she doesn't dance as much. But she's just pant the feet. Well, then she feels more comfortable there to slip inside and roll underneath the shots. I've always said it as well. It's always good to, to kind of get a fighter to hold back that fire and that determination rather than try and find it in a fighter and she's starting to do that now she she's boxing nicely moving ahead avoiding the shot from Benile who just has struggled to land anything of no anything clean she's tried but has looked frustrated at times Quick now, she's slowly, but it's quickly becoming an easy night to work here, isn't it, for Courtney? She's literally just making Benile miss and making her pay every time she she misses with a shot. Benile's trying to let her hands go, but again, her feet are not fast enough to close the gap when she does throw in combinations, and that's just allowing then Courtney that time and space just to roll underneath, dip the shoulder, and pick her shots. Well, so far tonight, you know, faultless, I would say. What would you grade uh, up until this point, Sky? 
I think she looks. I, look, I think Maisie looks really, really good. Um, out of ten, I'm going to say eight, only because I've seen more of what she can do. An eight. It's a good score. A little wink at us <laughs> at ringside here. That was at me, Dad. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this guy gets the wink from Courtney as we go into this final round. A little spring in the step of the Londoner. Daniela on the front foot. She's got to try and find something there. She finds a nice left hand. Misses with the right, but finishes with the lead shot. I, and I'm not, I'm not upset if she gets caught. Caught, especially when she's like she squared the feet there, as, as you mentioned earlier, when she's switching and she got caught with a shot. It's not a heavy shot, but you need to get caught because you need to fight. You need to realize that's a mistake. And she's not making she's making so many little mistakes. And she's so dominant in most of her fights. Let's be honest, all the fights to date, and this one even more so. Things are working so well for her that you still need to see some of the things that you need to improve on, and that's one of the things that I think we, we, we looked for in this fight. I mean, I'm just be honest, we are looking for things rough right, because she's doing things so much. Right. Yeah, and there will be tougher tests for sure. That's not taking anything away from Benile. It's been Maisie Rose Courtney who's made this an easy night by moving, taking the space away from Benile. Well, we've seen, we've seen with women's boxing. Unfortunately for them, they don't have time to to get that to get that apprenticeship. Once they get a certain, so they, they get to this level now. The next time now might be a European title fight, and then and then before that, you find to a world title by the end of the year, you know, or beginning of next year. It's, it goes that quickly for them. So. The, the, the errors have to be ironed out quicker than, than maybe in the male side. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think it's good that they're not moving Maisie too fast at the moment, though. She is very young. She's only just turned 23 this week. Um, she's still in six rounders, and I think it's really good for her development. There is no rush. And where would you put her into eight rounds? Probably her next fight, yeah. I would say. Well, it's been a very good performance for Maisie Rose Courtney against a former European champion, Martina Benile. She's boxed lovely, see some swelling above the right line on the forehead of the Italian. They embrace at the end. Should be over the moon. Maisie Rose Courtney with her performance, holding that gum shield out of her mouth. She walks back to, to coach Tony Sims, who I'm sure will be over the moon with that performance. Moving in the right direction. Yeah, she's moving in the right direction. But, but again, though, as I go back to that point, I think what, what Sky said is 100% spot on. There's no need to rush her. She is only 23. But how would you hold her back? Against who? Do you have to keep fighting the same people again? It, it, it'll be in the end. It's. I think women's boxing is more organic than, than the men's. That they, they, they can't hang around. They don't have that luxury to hang around. You know, and you, know, you criticize if people get in title shots before they're ready, but they're going to go with the goal. And, and also, by the way, the step up, as you you know, you, you attest to, the step up from one level to from the level you're, you're at now to world level is still a big, steep step. Well, David Diamante has the scorecards. He is ready with that verdict. So let's hand over to him now. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of action here at Wembley, London, we go to referee Bob Williams' scorecard. It reads 58-56. For your winner, she's still undefeated, Maisie Rose.